Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feats and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I just star mindset Rich forever And did I forgot underground? That's why none of the kings them from Menelik up to his majesty wasn't crowned under the Melchizedek order because of Menelik the first cause it. Him suppressed the order of Ethiopia and it got underground for 3,000 years. Up until his majesty, which is the returning Abraham, who did met Melchizedek 4,000 years ago, reincarnate, come now in our dispensation and come recognize Melchizedek again. Melchizedek Emmanuel, which is a Charles Edwards, our father. You understand? So it's a thing where back to the, the Anunnaki thing, just like how them this start the regular history or the or the or the natural what me that said, mundane history, or the history of the lower realm, them also this start the history of the higher realms too. Cause the very Bible in the word, you know, in a um Psalms 106, verse 4 say. And he laid the foundations of the earth that it cannot be removed forever. Then if the earth now move, like what the Bible say, oh, them say it has spin on its axis around the sun. Yeah? No, when you're looking at Joshua 10, Joshua 10 verse well, 11, 12, and 13, it show you say Joshua pray to God for making make the sun stand still. So forgive me enough daylight hours to defeat the Amorites, them who did a molest way. You know, the Amorites and the Perizzites and all of these Jebusites and all of these people who are idolaters. Yeah? And if they, if him pray to God for make the sun stand still, that means the sun a move. Ain't it? I just star. Right? So there's a lot of lies going on with what them who are taught in the school. The whole solar system is a lie even though it be based for some truth, because the solar system is really, if you get the atom and you split it, it contains three main particles, the neutron, the proton, and the electron. Mm. You understand? So it's really a dissecting of the atom and then enlarge it and superimpose it and give us as the figure of the solar system and how we are look at it and like, wow, I saw up in the heavens above us look. No, I saw you look inside but them just dissect you and make you looking at your own self from the inside and not knowing that your own self you look at. That's why it grab where our gravitated so and think it's real. It's not. That's not how it designed. The earth is flat. It is flat and covered with a dome, which is the first heaven. You understand? So when you mention about the Anunnaki and people are go to them Ramsey and all of these things. The Anunnaki's and all of these things, may I tell you the truth, I just start there is a heaven above us. Yeah? We are heavy, we contain heaven and earth in a car. Man and woman is heaven and earth within themselves, which is just the microcosmic, the, the, micros, the microscopic version. You see, but the universe is the macrocosm. You understand? However, all that exists in the universe exists in a man. You understand? But what you know, just say he make the heavens in throne room and the earth in footstool. So just like how him seat up in a man, him seat up externally above we too up on the heavens above we you understand that's how god works you understand so when them talk about the people them are going to take spaceships and go to other planets and and there's no way i just start you can traverse the universe unless you are unless you internalize all the meditation. It's only through meditation you can do these things. There's no other else way to do it. So any other else way you hear them talk, says spaceships and all of that, it cannot happen because nothing can pierce the firmament above us, which is the dome. Nothing unless you're invisible. Just like Enoch and Elijah. That's the only way you can pierce it. There's no other else way. No weapon can pierce it either because they've been trying from the 50s to pierce it. You see what's above it, even though the Bible tell you what's above it. It said there's water above it and water beneath because him create the firmament over the earth and separate the waters from above from the waters from beneath. Now, the waters that's above the firmament, that's outside of us, there's another firmament above that water also to because there is only, it's not only one heavens, there is heavens upon heavens. 
So it's a deep stuff. But the only way you can get to go to those levels is within yourself. You can't do it externally. It cannot happen externally, and no machine can get you there either. So that's the trick also, what we must know. is meditation we have to do it through. There's no else way to contact the God. That way, unless you go inner yourself, inner that dark matter. When you shut your eye, like if you shut your eye now, that blackness where you see in your mind is the abode of the Almighty. You can, you can, when you watch the movie like Star Trek and all of these things, and you see the, the Enterprise has sealed through space, so-called space, the Enterprise is really yourself, which is your pineal gland where you're supposed to stimulate. And that blackness where you see within space is in your mind. So it's really a copied version of what's inside of you, them, them superimposed on the silver screen. And we are so, wow, I saw it look when I really inner yourself, you know. And the, only, the next thing is that, like I say, there is no space exists. I, I, there is no space that exists like what they taught us. The only space that exists is from here where you touch the ground and up to the firmament. And it's not very high either. Yeah, man. Deep stuff. Deep stuff, See, honorable. So, yeah. is meditation alone can carry it to that level. Meditation. You have to practice meditation. There's no other way to do it. So how 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 would we know um we call mm -hmm. it now explain like satellites no, the the, in a, the in a, in a disguise them right now because we yeah. you know, they they are those things out there in a the sky right them say satellites out there them say um space station out there yes mm. things can up there and float there is a space that exists from the ground to the firmament you know so things can be up there but i'm talking the distance where they might teach we say sun the 93 million miles away and it's endless out there nothing like that because if you go up just a few miles you touch the firmament you know and a whole heap of miles up it there plane can't remember plane don't fly miles you know them fly feet Commercial jetliners fly 30 feet, 30,000 feet in and 35,000 feet. Wire planes fly up to 70,000 feet and 80,000 feet. You still not touch us the firmament yet. That's in so, feet. So what they are saying, them, them, them star, they what we see at night time. They star them. Because yeah. when we go to Africa, I right. see some star there. I tell them, look mm -hmm. close like you could have touched them. We yeah, are saying, them, 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 them right. nearby. Them nearby, yeah. Them not far like what them teach you. Not not us, and not only that, they're not solid either. The sun, the moon, and the stars are not solid in a jar. They are luminous, they are just luminescent um, creations, organs created by God and have them suspended above us in a jar, underneath the firmament, you know. They are not solid objects. So nobody not going to moon. No, no, go, so. It's all a trick. NASA. It's all trick, bubba. So all of these things the people them need for know, but they might try to hide these things. But if the truth eventually will come out, you know, it's just that people now use the Bible for help them interpret these things. The man said, him laid the foundations of the earth so that it cannot be removed. Then I, ju I just started. The only time the earth move are when him shake earthquake. The earth now spin how much miles with them a table power. Nothing I got saw. The earth stationary. The sun. The moon and the stars moving at the constellation above us. Them oscillate around us above us within the firmament. And the sun don't really go down and set like we think it's set. No, it have to do with a matter of perspective. Oh, you look at it, it's just it's just that it is like when it a go round, according to how it a go round, for come back round, for, for make morning come again, it is just that it, it to the way it move, it cause the, the, the section where you definitely look dark. But by the time it will come back around upon its oscillation, for come around for bring, for bring down again, you know, it just only looked that way as a matter of perspective. It not got really go down and go under the earth and come back up. No. Maybe I should send you some videos when I get on some information where it can help you to put things in a proper perspective too. But the Bible did it, the Bible didn't oh, lie. No, man, I know so the sun no, the sun no go down and come up and all of them things, man. I know all of them, I know yeah, all like of them. Yeah, like what them teach, right? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, but, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it does, as I say, knowledge, you know, knowledge increase and mm -hmm. as they are say, a whole of things that is being hidden, you see me, I say? And mm -hmm. I agree with the eye and I feel like, um, man like Enoch, as the I mentioned, who ascended uh -huh. 
Zine without right. facing um, debt, you debt. know, where mm, exactly. you know, did this virgin ascend it to? You see me, I say? <laughs> that, 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 that is, um, that, that is the question. Where did he ascend that it to? That is the question. Uh, yes, see? I. All right, all right. But if he ascend it to the heavens, of the heaven of heavens, which by God abode in a celestial state. I know I can't explain it further, but me just give you that off hand. Yeah, in a, remember now, you know, remember now, in the book of Matthew 6, in the book of Matthew 6, verse 22 and 20, or 20, 22, 23, Christ spoke about the pineal gland and him spoke about the chakras, you know, but it's just the interpretation of people get the knowledge. Him said the light of the body is the eye, you know. Him said, therefore, then I be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be of darkness. Then him say, if the light mean in which you was created as in a, if the light that is in you be of darkness, how oh great is such darkness. So we my try to say now, we are light beings, right? And if we want the light, they shine, we have to rise with kundalini energy, our vibrations from the base chakra, which come through the meditation and the deep breathing exercises. No, when you rise it and stimulate the body to a certain point, you yourself can become like the light where you turn on in your house, you know, when it reaches certain levels, you know, when it reaches a crescendo, you know. So when it reaches that point, then it disintegrates in a mean in your own flesh breakdown, you know. Because you is just a combination of atoms put together and our atoms do not eat to live. So what I'm trying to also show you that is how we live are going to raise these vibrations. That is where Enoch come do. That is where Elijah come do. That is where Emmanuel come the 2,000 years before him ascend back unto him father after them crucify him. And Bimelech did it too. Who saved Jeremiah from out of the pit where Hezekiah did have him in her. Him, him get ever living life to but the Bible. I tell you that, but the other books and them delete from the Bible mention that. His majesty escaped that too. Um, King um, Marcus Giavi didn't drop flesh either too. The only person dropped flesh is King Emmanuel to prove that he was Christ and that he was also crucified. That's the only reason why Emmanuel dropped flesh. The dropping of flesh, him never designed with a dying, you know, my lord. It's because the boy, um, I wouldn't say the boy, I can't say the boy Lucifer, him, him first creation, him Adam and Eve, and him go pollute them blood. And once the boy go get in our blood and go pollute it now, him bring sin into the world, Adam and Eve got soft sin coming into the world, and also death coming into the world, because I'm never designed where to die. Now, to escape this death now, I just start what is placed on the world because of Adam and Eve. We have to go through Christ's teachings and, 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 and from get back that ascension level, so we have to live like Christ. And you know, Christ practices meditation and everything. Yeah. So well, is that thing but, where you have to go in and you you see, rise your vibration? Yes. You, you see, what the ayah mm -hmm. said, more, my lord, is more on a genetical, a genetic, a genetically level um, yeah. of, of things, my lord, for do with our DNA and, and all of that, our right. makeup as, as, um, as human. I think um, mm -hmm. that is where some alter within the gene pool as as um, make we can live um, the distant where we're supposed to live now as 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 you know as human being. You see me I say where it it no it not supposed to be that. But what the eye is saying is more on a on a genetic. Genetically level, mm -hmm. you see me, I say, if you do it with DNA and with gene pool and, and, and all of that. Now, yeah, but all the gene, of that the gene pool not change, you know? Uh, but all of that would have, to, would have to come from within um, the right. creation. You see me, I say, the creation mm. of, of, of then human, human being then. You see me, I say? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's mm -hmm. why me did kind of, that's why me asked the eye about the, um, the the anarchy, you know, because if mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. if um the virgin here um um ascended Zane and nobody mm -hmm. don't know where I'm ascend to Zane mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. there's the 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 theory Zane with the with with the whole anarchy um thing 
the mm-hmm. theory is this mm-hmm. Zane and I listen people carefully and I read um, them thing carefully the theory is mm-hmm. this um, there's a place called Nibiru mm-hmm. Zane where mm-hmm. them originally come from Zane mm-hmm. the Anunnaki mm-hmm. so to speak mm-hmm. Zane mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. even when them um, so called created human, which would have been mm-hmm. I and I then, Zane, mm-hmm. them, them, mm-hmm. them, 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 um, you know, them, 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 them are pine towards, even within that creation, Zane, it's uh, the virgin them can't eat or drink pan, pan the so called Nibaru there, where them come from. So, mm-hmm. It it, mm-hmm. it even put a whole power all in a mm-hmm. in a um in a in a what the virgin a name Enoch Enoch mm. thing to which part Enoch really ascend to <laughs> You see me I say? All right. All right, let me show you what I go on I ja, just start because I get the knowledge you know, I know what I go on, man. You what I go on. You what I go on. Them thing I in the Ethiopian Bible to what I can tell you. That's why they delete these books out of the Bible. Yeah? All right. It's not one world God creates, you know. It's 100 worlds. Listen to me carefully now. God created 100 worlds, my Lord. Not one world, may you know about our you know, existence, everything. You have 99 more worlds. Like, not exactly like it, but it's 100 in all them create. No, in place, the 100 of them in seven heavens, that's above us physically. Like I told you before, him put a doom over the earth and him call it heaven. No, that's the first heaven. In that heaven, we exist with 15 more worlds. Just listen to me, just listen to me out. No, we do have access to these 15 other worlds, you know. Check it, but me just make you know that. No, the other six heavens above the first heaven, the other rest of worlds, and him divide them up in those heavens also too. No, what also happened to you, if I understand to is this now. You see, the boy Lucifer, you see, all of the angels that God did create, he make them out of fire, you know. But still, he never give them everything like what he give us because we have everything to God, you know. When Lucifer see the model where God create, or when Christ create the model, because I really Christ designed the universe and us from up in the heavens, all of the mind, meditation, everything from up in the heavens, all of this was created. By Christ himself, him do all of the designing and it was approved by the Father and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, and that will come back to again. So what you know, when him did design the model for man and woman, you know, when the boy Lucifer sees the name, marvel, I love how we look, Bobo Shanti. But not only that too, not only that what you need to know is this now. You see those worlds where God did create? Like for instance now, may I try to remember the information. There, there was like in the sixth heaven, in the, in the sixth heaven, God placed um, hell, you know, where I burn with fire and all of them thing there. In the sixth heaven thing there, you know, just I show you how him set up the thing. See, no, Lucifer have access to many of these heavens, you know, as though God did give him access to and design him a particular way to move through these different levels. No, the thing is that when him become disobedient, him lose a lot of powers. Yeah, but him still have the knowledge are these things from up in the heavens. The only thing is that him can't enter it like him used to. Follow me. Not only that, when him create mutiny to him, create, him make a lot of the angels come on him side, the whole of them get disbanded. But you have to also know so them have knowledge too about these heavens too. You understand? Now, all of this knowledge we hear them talk about Nibiru and Ritz and Anunnaki, if I can remember all of these sounds, I really, the boy Lucifer, I create all of them existence there to make it look like they are alternative way to access the heavenly realms of God when it is not. Like I told you, there's only one way to go through the pearly gates. And if you can't disintegrate meaning, turn yourself into your own spaceship because that's what you are, there's no other else way to access the heavens above us. You cannot live in a physical state up there either. You have to be in an ethereal state, a spiritual state. Hence, you can't even stay up there if you're heavy. 
That's how God thing designed. Him spiritually you now. God have an essential part of him that is subtly you know, and move through time and space. That's God's essential nature. That's us in you know, it within the body. Let me give it another way. It's two temples we carry, Emmanuel said. Emmanuel said we carry a temple that is infinite, perpetual, immortal, cannot die. He said the other temple, is, which is the flesh he may refer to, he said prone to sickness and death if we do not take care of it. But what we know is that it's really a higher nature and a lower nature. The thing is that the lower nature, which way you can see and touch, is just hardened spirit. If you know how to talk to it and make it humble to the spirit, then it can disintegrate back to where it come from, which is essential state, which is a spiritual state. Now, that realm exists in the black man, you know, but the black man have to initiate it. It's not something where it's dear, but him can just access it. Him have to live a particular way with the spirit of love and entreat him and bring him onto it. That's how it works. It have to please, the, the way you live have to please the spirit, for the, for the spirit to entreat you and help you break down your own particles where you can transcend. Because that's what it is. It's a transcendation of your own temple, you know, break down, you know, the whole molecules, everything break down back to a spiritual state and you just take off because you are the spaceship, you are everything. And the understanding about room, no one you for know this knowledge. The one you are substituted knowledge and created substituted places and created substituted names, which is no different from the said idea Iris, Horus, and Osiris. It all happened. Did you know that the mystery schools in Egypt is Lucifer set them up? See. To control the real knowledge. That's the whole aim of Egypt and Africa, the mystery schools, you know, was set up to hide the true knowledge, you know. That's how them hide the knowledge, you know, from the people, you know. The Egyptians, them, the Egyptologists, them, and all of these things, is still Lucifer doctrine, you know. All I is Lucifer because I'm going to show you some. Enough people that said to me, how, how come, how come um, Moses write the Bible? write the five first five books of the Bible, and yet still when Abraham met Moses, he wasn't around, he never existed them time there. Because Moses get the knowledge from the Ethiopians them. As I had him add it into him, did I write with him experiences, with him, with him experience and everything, and I give with the history and everything, and we even when him link up with Jethro, you understand? The said knowledge, how come, how come, before even Christ come on earth and set up the Trinity, I just star. A Trinity was existing in that earth. How come? Because Lucifer knew that Christ did ever come with a Trinity. He knew all of these things, so he set up Iris, Os uh, Horus, and Osiris, and all of these mystery religion, and all with, which have at the center of it a Trinity and a one God concept, which is really, which is really representative also of the Son of God, which them know. She and Jehovah into the sun and the sky, which more embrace materialism, which more embrace the creation as opposed to the creator, the make substituted ways of worshiping God. So Lucifer knew that God was going to come with salvation. He knew that God was going to come with the Lord of the Sabbath. He knew that God was going to come with the Trinity. So when he him, him come, when he when get for room earth and set up these things to stray us away. So that's how the, how the whole mystery school was set up in Egypt for control the true teaching and teach the people in my wrong teaching. And it switched. The whole mystery teaching and everything I eat move into Rome and become the Vatican. You know? I eat a mystery Babel and everything, you know, Babel and everything. It developed from Babel, Babel, with the boy Nimrod, who did want to go up to the heavens. Why you think he built the Tower of Babel? Because he knows that God's seat up up there. I go in there and try to go up there, you know. That's why God confound we, you know, and make us confuse, you know, and destroy him, you know. Because I'm there, I get too presumptuous. He knows that God up there. He knows. And he went never too far. That's why he seen that bill that to try to reach up there. <laughs> <laughs> so all of these things are just substituted stuff to get us away from the true doctrine and religion. But if we don't read these books where them hidden from you out of the Bible, we have a loss. So if I never Emmanuel with double loss and a million times loss to May I tell you, God, them take we out ourselves. There what? is no way we can access the higher realms unless we got in. I just start. There's no else way to do it. May I tell you that? No else way. Most natural. Um, the thing about mm -hmm. it is some of these books that um, that is not in the in the Bible. 
Zinan in Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. You know, the thing is, it, it, it mm-hmm. speak about um, these happening and, and, and these, you know, probably extra, extraterrestrial because when I read Enoch, Book of Enoch, right. you know what I mean? It going, it going to, into that, into even uh, the right. Anunnaki, the man, all of them sitting there. And that is a book it that is... It never used the word Anunnaki, though. It never used the, you know, Enoch, the book of Enoch. The word they never used. Me never recall that. Yeah, sure? And the Nibiru, them... Mm-hmm. Them, words, the, them, word, them words mm-hmm. they never use. Probably them words they right. never other use to... Use, to, yeah. to other words, yeah. Other words and other descriptions, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Which mm-hmm. are, 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 them, are them thing that it, yeah, them really are deal with. You see me right, 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 yeah. right. And thus, as knowledge right. increase, you know, because you see, as the knowledge right. increase, then um, mm-hmm. interpretations come, new interpretations come that... You can um, mm-hmm. interpret and say, boy, okay, at a, at, at a um, place there, at, at a thing there, them are talk about. Uh, through new words, mm-hmm. them, are, them are new, use certain new words now for identify. You see what I say? So it's just the right. knowledge increasing. And, you know, certain yeah, things where we increase. never... Holy man. Yeah, well, we never mm-hmm. hear about um, 10 years ago or 20 years ago. You know, we are uh-huh. here about them today. You see me, I say? Because uh-huh. the knowledge has, uh-huh. has, has increased. You see me? So, as the I said, there's a lot been hidden from us. And, you know, a we lot, have to, right lot, now, I feel say, we have to just be open, open minded, uh-huh. be critical thinkers. You see me, I say? Uh-huh. And analyze, uh-huh. analyze all of these, all of these things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, then why I. you think all why anybody ever teach me to really shut your eye? But when we shut your eye, what we're looking at in our mind's eye, what is that blackness that we will see? Nobody not teach you nothing about that, you know. Nobody not teach you nothing about that. Carl, to do it to, to even the very thought of it to that sound like it evil. I mean if somebody shut them eye. And looking at the mind's eye, they might get scared after a while because they're not used to it either. That's the next level to you know. So they taught us to more look outside ourselves and see things. Reality more on the external level of ourselves when it's really all that we can see and touch is all an illusion. Ja I just star. Everything around us, what we can see and touch is really an illusion. It's really an illusion because it's out of heaven came earth, you know. It's not the other way around. You understand? So earth, which means the flesh, have to depend on the spirit to live, not the other way around. So if the spirit is more important than the flesh, then how do we comprehend the spirit when it's something that we cannot see? But we know it exists within us now. We know it exists and we know so it is the animation of, of the flesh. So how do we comprehend the spirit? Or how do we reason with the spirit? I entreat the spirit like all oh, we do with the flesh. We do everything for the flesh, you know, but talk, we never yet do as much for the spirit. Talk to yourself. You see what I say? I saw, I saw, I, I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you talk to yourself. <laughs> Which is a good thing to yeah. You see me? Because you, it's really you and it are talking, you know, yeah. when you talk to yourself, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But suppose me tell you, say, mm. one next thing with them hide from me is this. I'm a found these things lately, in about three, four years ago. You know, I never know, say, I so deep the thing go. I read a book named um, The Forgotten Books of Eden. Yeah? And it'll tell you about the lifestyle of Adam and Eve and where them got you and all of them things there. And the amount of temptation where them face with the devil and everything. Yeah? Yeah. But, but what you know, in other book, they remember God said he made us from seven consistencies. Yeah? He said the said elements that we used to make the plants, I used to make them with sinews and with muscles. The grass, the setting, him said the setting when you used to make the sun and the moon and the stars, I think you used to make with eyes. I try to remember, and him said the earth, I think you used to make with flesh. Him said where intelligence come from, the what, the angels and from the, the clouds. But we remember distinctly, him said the only thing will come from him directly, the eye just star is the breath. Now watch this now. See it. So that means everything else is a byproduct, you know, of the breath, you know. And the breath is, th- is still the spirit, you know. I hear the word said we, you know. But watch this now. I read another book now. 
I read another book called The Great Law. A very interesting book. But it tell me, help me tie up some things. Because when we go learn from the book, the you know, we go learn, say, 95% of the nutrients where our body need to live actually come from the air where we breathe in you know? her. Not from what we eat in you know? her. Now, listen this carefully. Right now, we are breathe um, at the pace of the beast. Because we are breathe like 18 breaths per minute. So, three sixes are 18. So that we are move at the pace of the beast. You see, if we can slow down our breathing to like 10 breaths per minute, go down to like a seven and push it to like five, which over time I'll do in practice, you can hold that length. Yeah, it will stimulate the pineal gland, which control all your um, visionary features. Yeah? It will stimulate it to the point where once your vibration rises in a general, all in your mind's eye, you know, you can talk to God directly, you know. Like how me and you talk, no, you know. But the only way God reveal himself to you, unless we're ready, I so it work, you know. Because, you know, the ever-consuming fire that you got go before, you know. So if you're not ready, you will be able burn up. So I'm not going to come to you. Or I'm not going to send guides to you if you're not totally ready. That's how it work. That's why it take a while more time to come in contact with these guides within your own mind. Me talking, you know, me not talking to you, know, crystal ball or no way else. Me talking to your own self. You understand? Yeah. So what you know, if 95% are the food, are the nutrients so we need to live come from the air where we breathe, that means the most important thing to what we are taking out of the body is the breath. Now, how do we extract these nutrients from the breathing? Come back again through the meditation, which is the deep breathing exercises where we have to practice like our hours when the vibration and electromagnetic energy is strong at its strongest point around the earth and around us, which is like between the hours at 12 and 4 in the morning, which enough people are asleep at them time. They will breathe these deep breathing exercises to stimulate the chakras in our events, yeah? So at them levels, yeah, money will bring with a come learn, but enough people check, say, yo, a joke thing, that the whole salvation is for awakening with chakras, you know? Why you think when we're singing, we make we stand up? Because if your chakras are not straight, the kundalini energy with, it, with controls is your sexual energy, it can rise. Your spinal cord of the straight. And why we sing too? Because when you sing, in order to sing, you have to take deep breaths. And if you notice the words, which are the hymns that we sing, it's really a channel where we need to go. So all of this righteousness stimulate and spiritualize the saint or the person who will come and worship in our name. However, that is just when we within the congregation. Now, each and every one of us personally now have to take it to other levels in your own confinement, solitary confinement. That's why privacy is important for like priests because they have to go on meditation excursion. That's why Moses have to run, leave, leave Aaron and the crew down in the bottom and go up in Mount Sinai and forget direct orders from God the kind of meditation. I in my mind him get the design of the of create the Ark of the Covenant and right the ten the ten um commandments. I in my mind him communicate with God. I in my head it all like to happen. We can do the same. We carry the said DNA instructor, the said gene pool like Enoch. It's just that the lifestyle and the enslavement from Lucifer and him hosts from them time there. I eat a break with down and make with things so we can't become these things again. It, in a way, it just need to be awakened. Mm-hmm. Rastafari. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Reality. Deep stuff, Reality. man. Reality. Mm-hmm. Reality. Deep stuff, my love. But, uh, but uh, you know, it... it I'm glad I get a chance to reason with the eye like, like with, 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 a, with a person like the eye if you see the, the meditation oh God who designed me how he wants us to be. We are spiritual beings, Jai just that we just got through our earthly experience. Until we find out these things, we are mm-hmm. doomed to the thing called death. Mm-hmm. Which is really ignorant. True. You know? Death is ignorance. It's the ignorance causing death. You know? If we know these things I mean, you talk about and set out for enhance ourselves on them, we eliminate death. We live even longer. We we longer. Natural. Come again. Me a man. Me proper fast like twelve hours a day. You know. Twelve hours a day every day. Me fast. So I'm go on my bed from midnight last night to up until twelve. Come in, me not eat nor drink. I just star. Why? Because of food for the spirit. Mm-hmm. 
when the spirit rule the flesh, it become God in flesh, you know. When just a man of right is God in flesh, is that's what I mean, you know. Is when you allow your spirit for rule your flesh, you become man of God. But no, when you make your flesh rule your spirit, I saw your manifest Satan is him. Both energies within us, you know, is you have a is you have a control them and know how to use them. True. Yes, yes, honorable blessing. Yeah, man, so that's the whole aim for control with lower nature. And they make it rule way. You understand? Enough people this way and say, Bubba no love woman. And Bubba this and Bubba lack with woman. But if them know why we do these things for balance the race spiritually, they would understand. Because a girl is can't be a priest in a high just star. Natural. You see, you can't be a priest because you're very semen. Your sperm, where you're supposed to ejaculate into a woman and bring for a child. God give you it for procreation, you know. He never give you it for pleasure, you know. Why? Because it also have other purposes. Meaning, it is a said energy which have to rise to stimulate your mind. It have to rise, meaning if you don't protect it, and, don't, and, and as long as you're not using it like a hose, you're going to need it because if Enoch never have it, he could not transcend. So you see why God make him the most important thing over everything else under the earth, under the face of the earth. You have to go through him. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm set even the 21 day principle because the 21 day principle is to help us to control ourselves also to because if we get up every day and a sex, 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 and a leak out that, that Christ fluid, we're supposed to help us we can access the Akashic records if we know how to use it in our own self, recycle it in our own self. You know, if, I mean, if we don't know these things, we're going to just continue to play, 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 and never know. So we have these powers, and we are let it out, just let it out, and I loose, loose all over the place. No. After procreation, it's not for pleasure. So all of these things have to be planned, what you're doing as gods. So it's important. That's why we have to let go the world and come together and learn these things and go upon these journeys. Or when you go upon these journeys, you're going to know how powerful you are as a being in the earth and as a god in the flesh. You understand? So when we hear people like this, Bobo Shanti, so we don't like a man, them don't know the levels of the whole thing. The whole 21-day principle also, it doesn't prevent you from going on to your woman to, you know, your I just star. We don't lack a woman for purely, for, for whole 21 days on a CR, you know. No, no, go so. No, totally, no. The only difference is that when you're ready to create a family with that particular woman that's on her journey, the best time to visit her is on our 14th day, from the 14th day after she go into house. That's the best time for create a family with her. The only thing though is that once you go in with her, you have to stay with her until that 21 day fulfill. You and her cannot mix with the congregation. That's just principle. Well, how hard enough that for them to understand? It's just principles. Yeah? All of these things set to make us stronger. The whole 21 day principle is for, our, for um, self-control. And it heals the woman internally too. And make her system contracts. That's why she looks different when she go in her house. She come back, she look much younger. You understand? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, because our system cleanse. Our system is being cleansed and our temple will heal up back and all of these things. For all of the trauma that she's been through for those thousands of years by the invaders of Africa who rape us. Who rape us. Rape a woman. Rape of mothers and rape of daughters and shift them cycle and make them shift from the sun cycle to the lunar cycle, hence why they bleed every 28 days, my Lord and Majesty. You understand? Yeah, man. It's a serious thing. Is the white men did this to us. Them change up a whole cycle, socially engineer this lifestyle upon us. We never used to have sexual intercourse during night hours. I just started in ancient Africa. We have fire people, everything was done under the sun. A them shift up and make a change his lifestyle and teach with the freedom culture and we are follow it. You understand? And I, and I, and I bring irreparable harm to a people. So that's why God comes set the 21 day principle for help heal the nation. It's a, it's a soul for healing purposes mainly. Yeah. Yeah, man. So it's a power as my general enough to learn with them hide from a general as King Emmanuel. A King Emmanuel set all of these principles to save us, my Lord, so we can have a chance for your sin and raise your vibrations, though. Because we can't do carnal. If we're carnal, we're going to die, Bobo Shanti. Yeah, man. Remember, same keep say we can't go to Zion with a carnal mind and a carnal mind. I have to stay behind. You see? 
Yeah, man, we can't to carnal general, we are spiritual beings first. And that he wants us to know. And that he wants us to adhere to, do the things then that are spiritual. Just so we have to be more spiritual than temporal in this time. I know that his majesty said we have to balance both the spiritual and the temporal. We have to balance it, yes. But Emmanuel will come with the whole spiritual order, so we have to be more spiritual than temporal. Because he's the Christ, he's the king of righteousness, you know. Theme, sound, supersedes every other sound because I through him. At his name, we have to use for God you for saving you know. I him control the Akashic Chronica in our, in our existence, in our heavens, you know. Which is just another word for Christ consciousness, you know. The Akasha Chronica is where is the archive of the universe, you know. Once that chakra open up, you know, you get information and access to all the heavenly knowledge we exist out there in you know, my life. Christ control that is Christ consciousness. So it's through him. For all of these meditation come unto us and these knowledge, my Lord, are through him. But he's not going to give it unto us if we're not ready also. So we have to prepare ourselves to meet him. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I give thanks to such reasoning, my Lord. I give thanks to this such a moment. Because I always... If suppose me tell you something, I know so one day, this day, they're going to come. They're going to reason like this. Because I always am at you know. <laughs> Because I see you do some good work. You bring a whole heap of attention and awareness to Bobo Shanti and, I mean, Pan-Africanism in general. And I say so you move from which part did they go all in the land. Because I attract everything. And I say so you move in Ghana and all over Africa. Oh, and I say this Bobo, you know, play. This Bobo, you carry the things. Four wings. <laughs> Four wings at earth, Bobo. <laughs> we love the works, my lord. A great works. Give thanks. Yeah, the other great, great, great works. Give it thanks, bring light. Bobo. Not, not hidden. Certain things are people afraid for to see. So you speak on them. You understand and declare and make them know. Yeah, man, I love that honorable man. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, but you know, we can talk again, reason again. You know, but there's so much like me tell you where them hide from with general that we need to know. I'm going to tell you personally, for me personally, say everything with me come learn. For thousands of years, humans have been searching studying the plants around us, working to create herbal healing solutions, blended with the best from Mother Nature, a gateway to healing and a better life. This is the answer. See you guys. I'm answered. Smash that in. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset.